after members of the county assembly disagreed over the announcement of, of the majority leader of the assembly, which had initially seen the UDA party secretary general approve Philip Rono before the High Court reinstated the first leader of majority, that is Vincent Correr. The MCS say the wrangles experienced in the assembly have been brought by interference by the county governor, Dr. Eric Mutai, and Senator Aaron Cheriot. Our reporter Dennis Otieno tells us more. County Assembly of Kericho today turned into a house of chaos during a special sitting convened four days after a letter from the Secretary General of UDA party approving the election of Philip Rono as the leader of majority of the Assembly and Peter Kemoy as the Chief Whip. However, during today's sitting, the Speaker reinstated the first leader of majority, Vincent Correr, in accordance with the ruling of the High Court. However, a section of MCAs led by Deputy Speaker Eric Bett have claimed that it was a long game plan of the Speaker to maim the executive and derail delivery of services. We are, dis we are disappointed because the Speaker chose to defy the party directive and not communicate letter written by our Secretary General, Venerica Maina, or the House leadership. The second faction led by Capsuit Ward MCA, who was the second leader of majority, Paul Chirchir Tarimbo, approved the decision by Speaker Patrick Mutai, adding that the move came by after him and that the first majority leader, Vincent Correr, came to an agreement and resolved the matter out of court. We had some dis disputes where we went to court and uh, the court uh, recently, uh, with agreement between us and uh, Paul Chichir and the people who are the parties who are concerned the court uh, agreed to withdraw the case and I am being reinstated today. According to them, the wrangles being experienced at the assembly have been brought by interference by the county governor, Dr. Eric Mutai, and Senator Aaron Cheriot. The same, same people, Vincent and uh, Aaron, was actually in Empolos Hotel and they did vote it for the current leadership that was supposed to be communicated today. I can say Speaker has just become a player in a game that is supposed to be a referee. However, amid the wrangles, the county government passed a supplementary budget of $8.5 billion. Now back to some bad news of money.